And I'm feeling really good. And I'm feeling really good because Joe Biden tells me I am like garbage. Or Puerto Rico, where I'm in my home state of Delaware, they're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of seen as unconscionable and it's un-American. That's Joe Biden, president of the United States, calling half the country garbage. Why is he doing this? He's doing this because at the Trump rally at MSG, there was a roast comedian who opened up the show and he made all sorts of jokes. He made jokes about Democrats. He made jokes about Republicans. He made jokes about all sorts of people. He's a roast comedian, okay? And uh, and a pretty famous one. Uh, so one joke he made is he said, there's a, a floating island of garbage, you know, uh, but we, we call that Puerto Rico or something. And it was, it was a funny joke. You know, he tells all sorts of funny jokes. So anyway, Joe Biden decides to make a statement that is not a joke. He, he decides to get very offended on behalf of Puerto Ricans, even though the Puerto Ricans in the room thought it was a funny joke because it was. Uh, Joe Biden decides to say the only garbage I see is Trump supporters. Half the country, garbage. Barack Obama called half the country bitter clingers, clinging to their guns and religion. Hillary Clinton called half the country deplorable. Now Joe Biden, a week before the election, calls half the country garbage. This could end the campaign for the Democrats. So the Democrats fly into cover-up mode. You're not going to believe how Politico covered this. Politico said, Biden in a Zoom call with the organization Voto Latino said, quote, the only garbage was the, quote, hatred of Trump supporters who said such things about American citizens. Is that what Biden said? Hold on. Biden said the only garbage was the hatred of Trump supporters who said such things about American citizens. Hold on. Can we go back to the tape? What did Biden say? Or Puerto Rico, where I'm in my home state of Delaware, they're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of seen as unconscionable. The only garbage I see out there is his supporters. The demonization of people is unconscionable. Two sentences. It's not even as though he said something and then he caught himself and he redacted what he said. He said, the only garbage I see is his supporters. That is half the country. Conservatives, independents, some Democrats for Trump, white people, black people, Puerto Rican people, men, women, everybody. His supporters. Politico just lies about this. This reporter, Jonathan Lemire, Lemire, I don't, this is just a complete lie. Right now, go to ramp.com slash Knowles. Managing your business finances can feel like trying to balance the federal budget. A nightmare. But unlike our friends in Washington, you actually have to make the numbers work. Are you feeling trapped by finance software that's about as useful as a paperweight in a windstorm? Well, I got good news for you. It's time to ramp up your financial game with Ramp. Ramp is a corporate card and spend management software designed to help you save time and put money back in your pocket. First off, Ramp gives you control like you wouldn't believe. We are talking issuing cards to every single employee, but with limits and restrictions that you set. Expense reporting automated. No more wasting time at the end of every month trying to piece together who spent what. Now, let's talk about the accounting side. Ramp software automatically collects receipts and categorizes your expenses in real time. The kicker, you'll be closing your books eight times faster. That's right. Eight times and time is money, honey. Ramp is not just about saving time. It's about saving money. On average, businesses use Ramp. Using Ramp, save 5% in their first year. That is real money back in your business. Super easy to use. Get started in less than 15 minutes. Go to ramp.com slash Knowles. Ramp.com slash K-N-O-W-L-E-S. You will get $250 by joining ramp.com slash Knowles. Cards issued by Sutton Bank, member FDIC, terms and conditions apply. It's not even they stretched the truth a little bit or they covered certain things up. This guy just lied. Politico just lied trying to cover up for Biden. Why? Because they know this is absolutely devastating. This is a, a deplorable comment times a thousand. One week before the election, which raises a question, why did Biden say it? Did he say it because he believes it? Yeah, maybe. But is there something more to it? Some people are wondering, did Biden make this comment because he hates Kamala and wants her to lose? And I don't know. He's, he's not totally in control of his faculties. He says things that he doesn't think about. That's been true for all of Biden's career. 
But but I guess the question is, who does Joe Biden hate more? You, conservatives, Trump supporters, or Kamala Harris? And if you ask me, I think it's the latter. I think Joe Biden could get along better with Trump supporters than he could with Kamala Harris. Some evidence of this, when Trump was at that fire station campaigning in Pennsylvania, what did he do? He put a Trump hat on and smiled for the cameras. And he played it off as a little joke. But Joe Biden is a a really good politician. Uh, He was never the brightest bulb in the pack. He was never going to solve nuclear fusion. But he's a really good politician. That is going to be the last part of Joe Biden's brain to go, his political sense. He knew exactly what he was doing. When Biden came out there, Kamala and Ron DeSantis were in a fight over handling the hurricane, and Kamala was complaining that DeSantis wouldn't take her call, and DeSantis said, I don't need to take her call. I speak directly to the president. Whose side did Joe Biden take? Joe Biden took DeSantis' side. He said, oh, I don't know. I think DeSantis is doing a great job. I've been talking to him. He's got my personal number. I don't know what everyone's complaining about. He did a great job. And now, one week before the election, after reports come out that Kamala doesn't want Joe Biden on the campaign trail, He does one event and he comes out and he says, Trump supporters are garbage. I don't know. Crazier things have happened in politics than a sitting Democrat president hoping for a Republican to win. There was some rumor back in 1968 that LBJ was secretly, privately pulling for Richard Nixon over Hubert Humphrey. He was pulling for the Republican over the Democrat. Could be the same here. Whatever the motivation, I don't even care that much about the motivation. That clip needs to go everywhere. That needs to be a 30-second ad being blasted all over YouTube. Now is the time to do it. Joe Biden, the Democrats, they say half the country is garbage. You want to vote for that? I don't think so. That was a great clip, folks. Now, hey. Ring the bell.